Hello, welcome to my home gym or uh, the apartment place where I live, the place of the gym of it. We got barbell, about 170 kilos of weights for the barbell from uh, a real gym that uh, went under. Got some uh, wood um, screws and made this to do bench press, squats, deadlifts, everything. This is a really nice one. And I uh, also got some rebar because 170 kilos is not enough. Almost enough, but not enough. So the plan is to use these uh, molds. So I have 20 kilos and a 15 one here. Uh, the difference between these two is that the 15 kilo one is not as steep. So my cunning plan is to usually you just fill this with concrete and have a, a, like a hash sign of rebars for stability. Concrete can take pressures but not bend, basically. But with rebar it works. Anyway, so I wanted to up the weight a bit. Usually when you do really, you want concrete to take some punishment, you put stones and shit in it. I'm not a concrete expert, but uh, that's about as far as my knowledge goes. So I, I thought that let's just put lead from the shooting range instead in it, which this is. The only downside to this is this is filled with wood and shit. So uh, my smart I idea was that we just set everything on fire. But my significant other is a lot smarter than me and she's told me to just fill it with water. It's going to get wet when you make concrete out of it. And the wood and everything will just float up and we can skim it off the surface. So that's probably the smarter, smarter thing to do. <laughs> so, so these molds have a little dimple in the middle, so you know where the middle is. Pretty smart. And we take one of these. Uh, we try to find some thicker pipe, but we couldn't find anything. So we're just going to bet that this uh, can of smoothie will do the job. Perhaps put something in it so it doesn't deform. And then just put it here. Uh, either we drill a hole and clamp it together with a bolt, or we just put some silicone and put it here. We'll see what we do. And then just pour everything in here, uh, halfway up, put in the rebar, fill up to the edge with the rest of it, and then just uh, measure so it's the same uh, height in uh, the thicker one. And it should be about the same weight, uh, probably, we'll see. We're going to have to try to measure it uh, scientifically, like. We'll see, we'll see. That's the plan, anyway. Uh, wish us luck. Hello. So, uh, next step in trying to cast bullet weights for my barbell is taking range scrap that I, that's been sweeped up from the shooting range. We have a shooting range where we have armored plates angled like this, so the bullets are collected on the floor. The issue is that it's not just bullets that's being collected. It is a lot of wood from uh, the target stand and paper from the targets we shoot at. So if you look here, there's a lot of shit in it. So my suggest wa suggestion was to just set everything on fire. But that has some practical implications, like uh, probably the fire brigade is going to come over and wonder WTF TF I am doing. So the smart choice was to just dump it in a bucket of water and wood and paper will float up like this. So take some lead and wood and what have you, dump it carefully in the water and the shit will float up to the surface. And then with my plastic gloves on, I just scoop it up and put it over there. And uh, just keep doing this until you get most of the crap out of it and you just, you're just left with lead, pieces of old jacket and stuff like that. 
which will be what you need if you want stuff to be heavy. So this is a lot of uh, lead basically and some wood. Uh, it's kind of disgusting actually, but it's only paper. It's not like you're cleaning a sewer or something. So whatever, uh, just get it done. Okay, this is how clean we got it. Um, the water is in these buckets. Gonna go to some kind of recycling station and <laughs> dispose of it as toxic waste because I guess that's what it is. Yeah, it's not 100% clean, but clean enough for our purposes. So it's gonna have to do. Doesn't get any better than this, as I usually say when I do stuff. Okay, we're in the little workshop. We cut up a uh, rebar to have in the weight. This is the mold. We have the washed up lead. This little plastic thing will go in the middle and we'll tape it to the bottom. So it hopefully holds, we'll see. <laughs> and uh, we have this uh, uh, What's the English name for a scale? Well, it's a scale. So this is for luggage, but it's up to 50 kilos. So we won't go 50 kilos, so you can weigh it. Just uh, hang it by the, those straps. Make sure the weight is the same for both. We're trying to measure up the concrete now. And then we're gonna mix it in that. And yeah, we'll see exactly how we do this. Uh, this is trial and error, or trial by horror, or whatever you want to call it. I'm going to try to spray down the inside of the mold with the ballistol and see if that helps with the stickiness, so it, uh, the weight comes off easy after it's uh, cured. We'll see if that's, that works or not. <laughs> Otherwise, we'll, I guess we have to sacrifice the mold, but I don't really want to, because I would wish to be able to do this again when I get strong and need more weight. <laughs> we'll see. Yeah, so that's the plan right now. Uh, wish me luck. Innovation. Gorilla tape. And we put it on the inside to keep it uh, tight against the, the mold. But then it had a perfect size to keep the shape of uh, this little plastic bottle that's kind of wobbly. Uh, we're afraid that the concrete will push it and make it... Uh, oval shaped or something and and the barbell won't fit through it but with this little tape you can push it in a bit and then pour the concrete and it's gonna work fine I hope let's see okay I sprayed the mold with ballistol not sure if this is actually gonna work I want it to not stick to the mold that's the plan anyways. I didn't have anything better. Some people online said use silicone spray or something. That's probably better. I have Ballistol and uh, if you're going to believe the commercial about Ballistol, it's good for everything. So I hope they're correct this time as well. So first layer of concrete. I'm just going to put it down here and then try to get about half all the way through and, and then flatten it out. Uh, and after that put in the, the rebar. This really looks like auger poop or something.
It doesn't need to be perfect. Let's just put this down here. There we go. And then more auger poop. I really hope I didn't mix too much, much concrete because the concrete is the weight I want it. Might have to stick up a bit if it is, doesn't settle down as far as I want it to. We'll see, we'll see. this out. I think this will fit perfectly. <laughs> Take it along. Put this there just to keep the shape. Yeah, told you guys, it fit perfectly. My calculations are perfect. I am... The greatest. Thank you, almost forgot. Should I shake this now, or what do you think? Not yet. Yeah. Compact it as much as you can. Yeah. This looks like a really big cake and I kind of want to eat it now. Yes, I have to settle with uh, lifting it up and down after it's cured. <laughs> have a nice touch you have so you might have to do something I'll just shake it now I guess you want to shake it so the air bubbles come out okay we're watering our concrete lead flowers here and sprout up and become beautiful barbell weights in a few days and cured enough. Yeah. Super pretty, super super pretty. I'm gonna lift them up and down and then uh, up and down again and then we're gonna get swole. Turns out that 
Ballistol worked super fine. It still smells of Ballistol, so I feel like I'm a German hunter or something. So the other one, I just tipped it over and it fell out. I didn't have to do anything to get it out. And Well, it's loose, but I think it's the tape at the bottom holding it down. Mm. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it was actually the Gorilla Tape holding everything. <laughs> That's kind of interesting. Uh, but yeah, everything just fell out. So, uh, bed is still working uh, confirmed. So yeah. Uh, we're gonna let these cure a bit more, water them down, keep, keep them under the plastic tarp, and then perhaps tomorrow try to deadlift with them. Probably gonna put some uh, uh, tape around here, just maybe because it looks cool. And I have some German Panzer tape. It's actually called that, and it's green. <laughs> uh, we'll see what we do. But it looks kind of nice. We can't see any. Take a close-up of this. You can't, uh, so, so the, the concrete has poured in a bit here, but it's easy to just knock out. <clears throat> we have the uh, plastic uh, bottle thing in here, and we confirm the, the diameter is correct. Anyway, you can't really see the, the lead here, perhaps some places. But yeah, looks nice. Kind of like some kind of camouflage pattern going on here. <laughs> Let's pretend it is that. Right, see you tomorrow when we try to deadlift this. Okay, so about a year ago, I managed to deadlift 200 kilos. That's my personal best, which is good for a gentleman about the tender age of 40 years. Uh, with the concrete weights, I'm up to 180 kilos. I just did a set with 170 kilos for four reps. So this is a 10 kilo increase. <clears throat> I'm not gonna push it, I'm just gonna try to do one rep. And then next week I'll try to do more reps. So uh, we'll see how this goes. I'm using the old man's wraps for this. <clears throat> and my big boss belt. Don't forget sexy tank top. Yeah, the sexy, it's been homosexual tank top. That's a good one. Now it's love. Kein Kaliber ist illegal. at least. We should not be bored. shape I guess. It went up, ugly but up. <laughs> mm, not too bad. Uh, my poor little tit. Ah, shut that off. Cheers. So the uh, Ukrainian battle hardened lead barbell weights or whatever product name we'll give them actually works fine. Uh, it wasn't that hard to get equal amounts of weight. The volume is greater than regular weights, of course, for, this, for uh, the same amount of weight, of course. But they work. Uh, we're probably gonna paint them because they're, there's a bit, they're a bit flaky. By the way, I'm drinking Christmas ale to celebrate uh, pulling 180 kilos. I actually thought uh, I'd pulled a muscle or something there for a while, but I didn't. 
this. I'm just uh, an old man. <laughs> but yeah, so thank you for coming on this little journey, uh, creating barbell weights for your my home gym here in the basement. Cheers, and uh, never go outside again when you have your own home gym. <laughs> Whatever, see you guys.